Hello everyone. I am Athira Rajesh Kumar. So I'll be dealing with the topic crime scene photography. So let me move. The basic question is, what is crime scene photography? This is nothing but forensic photography in which we record the initial appearance of the crime scene and physical evidences in order to prove the court of law as documentation and and the images are taken in Geneva and raw format. then why crime scene photography I have mentioned the five basic reasons that is to record the crime scene and the surrounding area then to record the appearance of the physical evidences and thirdly to provide the investigation team with photographs that would be helpful for their investigation then it acts as a permanent record of documentation in the court of law then finally to present the crime scene at the court in the front of the authorities then Next main heading is equipments needed. Equipments are personal protective equipment, camera of 35 mm or digital single reflex that is your DSLR camera of 12 megapixels, then battery backups, several rolls of color film and black and white if we are using film camera, then memory cards for digital camera, detachable flash or additional lighting. flashlight tripod camera cleaning writing materials evidence placards and finally rulers these are very much important for a crime scene photography we have the types of crime scene photography we have three main that is wide range mid range and close up firstly the wide range as the name suggests it includes a wide angle of the crime scene which all the global aspects are added then it should encompass the entire large scene and should be overlapping it represents a 360 degree of the crime scene including a landmark and it includes the all identifying marks and mid range here what happens is an outsider looking in view is taken so that we get a clear about idea about the crime scene and the evidence is much brilliant and items of evidence and their special relationships are shown by taking an establishment chart done correctly we will get overall idea of the crime scene and it will show the precise position of each item of it close up we take deliberate depiction of each individual evidence so that we get a clear cut idea about it and we should include all the sites and if there is any presence of markings defects or any other identifying marks it should be there and each photograph is taken twice with a without scheme and it should be taken parallelly and with a tripod and shadow should be avoided now we have taking photos of impression evidence firstly the tire impressions what we do is we take a series of overlapping photographs using the tires and tire circumference secondly we have impressions on glass in which three steps are followed firstly to protect the latent prints that's your invisible print secondly we keep a colored card or a piece of cloth in order to contrast the impression behind the glass thirdly we include all those steps in the notes finally impressions on a mirror what we do is we do oblique lighting and tripod is used to avoid being photographed then we have dust impression mostly used as public lighting which is also known as reflective light then if detail does not appear even though we are using public lighting what we do is we block the ambient light then we move on with flash or any other alternative light source and the location is being changed to get the clear result the surface what we do is we either use a light or a flash whichever required and we place that 90 degree from the impression photography of blood stain or other body fluids what we do is we either use color film or digital camera then we place it perpendicular to the plane of stain and roller and make sure that our equipment is not in touch with the stain aerial range here we get the exact geographic relationship of locations or objects and it helps us to identify the objects shown in other photographs then news footages are used as a source useful source in aerial range photographs then overhead photographs in this what happens is we take the photographs from above the scene 
such as from ladder etc and both aerial and overhead must be overlapping then we have precautions avoid disturbing the crime scene if that necessary we can make certain alterations but all should be noted then always take the photographs of the scene before and after alteration when required you can use scale then if you are using a digital camera never delete a photograph from the camera memory see in case of film never discard a used film or negative every film has its own integrity in the code of law so never to delete and we should use a sturdy tripod with a cable release and then we should place a camera at 90 degree to the subject in case of impression photographs and we should take an interior photograph using a vertical orientation to get the full length Always remember, we should take a complete set of pictures, including wide range, mid range, and close up range. Once the photograph is completed, remove the film or download the digital images and store it in a secure location, according to the departmental regulations. And we have three main factors to be noted: ISO, aperture, shutter speed. ISO is sensitivity of light. Shutter speed is how long an image is exposed to light, and aperture is the amount of light entering the camera. Hope you all understood. Thank you for your time.